Welcome. Today is all about showing you how to fix Facebook decapitation. This is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Facebook decapitation is that term that I use when, and you've seen it, you go to someone's Facebook page and you see this wonderful cover of this beautiful family. The only problem is everybody's head's chopped off. Well, the problem is this, that the dimensions of the picture and the dimension Facebook wants for the cover are two different things. You may be experiencing the same thing on your own Facebook page and you just don't know how to fix it. It's easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Let's take, for example, the picture that you see there on your screen, the man, his wife, the beautiful baby, but they upload that to Facebook and find that the heads are chopped off. All right, here's the solution. We're going to use a program called Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. You can go there and create a free account. Now, when you do, you'll see this little blank. I'm going to just type in the blank, Facebook cover. Bam. And here are some templates that I could use, but what I'm interested in is this first one that just simply says blank. I'm going to click on it. And here's this rectangle. This rectangle is the exact size, the exact dimensions that Facebook wants for its cover. So watch what I do. I'm going to take that picture that was located right here on my desktop. I'm going to drag it into this rectangle. Now I just grab the handles and resize this. Now, as I start to resize, you can see that the, the picture needs to be much wider to fill the rectangle. And as I drag the handles, as I, excuse me, as I drag the handles to fill the width, look at what's happening. And here's what Facebook would do. Facebook would take the bottom of the picture and go up as far as it would go. And there you have it, Facebook decapitation. But all I have to do is just drag this picture up or down to get what I want. And it looks like with this particular one, no matter what I do, it's going to cut off something. But let's say we go about there. We've got the baby, we've got the wife, we've got most of the husband. Whatever is in that rectangle is going to be in the final product. Now, from there, I just see a button in the upper right-hand corner that says download. I click that. And in just a few seconds, that's going to appear. And there it does appear on my desktop. I'm going to open it. And there's the picture. I simply now upload that to Facebook in the place of the cover that's there now. And what we're going to find is something that's exactly the right dimensions. Now, let's go a step further. What if you had two pictures and you wanted both of those pictures as a part of the cover? How would you do it? I don't know of a native way to do it, but watch what we can do with Canva. I'm gonna go back to this example that I had, and let's just drag this back down to sort of what it looked like to, to start with. It was the, sort of that small picture. So maybe this couple has just bought a house, and they want to have this house also as a part of that Facebook cover. Watch what happens. I just drag that other picture into the rectangle. You put as many pictures as you want to in there, and whatever's inside the rectangle is going to be part of the download. It's going to be part of that Facebook cover. So let me just arrange this a little bit. We'll drag this here. We'll drag this picture over here. Let's make this a little bigger. Uh, let's see what we can do with the house. I'm going to have to move it over a little bit. Let's see something along that line. We're going to need a little more at the top. Let me drag this here, move this over. You know, if I, if I didn't mind the knees of the husband being hidden a little bit, then I, that gives me more room to drag the house over. But you get the idea. I can just drag and resize these pictures the way I want them. And now when I click download, then a picture is going to appear on my desktop. And there it goes. I'll just drag it over here. 
I'll open it, and then just upload that to Facebook. No more Facebook decapitation. Now, go back and look at your own. You may find that this same thing has happened to you. Now you know how to fix it. You can surprise your friends. If they suffer from Facebook decapitation, just send them to this video so that they can solve it. Now, before we leave Canva, let's go back to it and show you some of the other things that you're able to do. I'm just gonna go over to Canva and click Home. Um, and look at some of the things that it says that we can do across here. A print, animated social media, a presentation. Now, personally, I create mine in PowerPoint, but you could do it here. If you're creating a poster, you need a design for a t-shirt, uh, Facebook cover, YouTube thumbnails, uh, wedding cards, banners, brochures, pretty much any design project that you have, it can be done in Canva. Now, it's freemium, which means you can create an account for free. I use the free account. You will find some things in here are not available with the free account. The paid account is $10 per month. Now, it gets even better. If you're an educational institution, you can get the pro version of Canva for free. Just go to canva.com slash education and sign up. If you found this video to be helpful, there's a whole lot more where that came from. Are you familiar with my website, frankbuck.org? If not, come on over there. And while you're here on this video, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so that when I make more videos just like this one, that they'll be right there for you to enjoy. I appreciate your watching today. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.